Hi guys, Max. I'm a certified bubble developer, and in the past two years of doing bubble, I've built over 20 plus projects for clients, and also scaled my own bubble app to over 20,000 users. And in this video, I want to share you five crucial tips that can help you learn bubble faster, more efficient, and build your first dream app. So the first tip sounds like a no-brainer, but it's know your why. So most people choose bubble for two reasons: one is to build a side hustle, or to build a startup. Obviously, if you want to build a side hustle by building a software business, you want to generate some more revenue uh, to your income stream, then you can learn Bubble at a slower pace and just follow your own pace and just learn the in and out of Bubble. But however, some people want to build a startup with Bubble and want to quickly launch an MVP. Therefore, you might need to learn Bubble way faster than other people. So basically, you need to know which route you are taking and plan your learning process based on your end goal. So the second tip I want to provide you is just to start learning the fundamentals. I will just say it right now: if you spend weeks trying to find the perfect no-code tools, you're not gonna get anywhere. Instead, just choose a platform that you like and start building with it. There are a lot of good resources that can help you learn Bubble quickly, such as Bubble Bootcamp and some YouTube channel. So if we take a look at the Bubble resource section, you can see there's a lot of tutorial you can choose from. I suggest you just get your hands dirty and start playing around with the Bubble editor and start building. And even though they might not be perfect, even though they might have bugs, however, this is the quickest way you can learn Bubble. And if you are someone like me who is a visual learner, I suggest you definitely check out on YouTube. You can just search up something like build Trillo clone Bubble. There will be hundreds of tutorial which you can follow. And yeah, they are really good. Just start playing around with it and start building. So now at this stage, you have some basic and this. So now at this stage, you have some basic understanding of Bubble now, and you can start building some simple apps. Now I will suggest you gain a deeper understanding of Bubble by learning from experts. So there are two resources I will suggest. So first one is the AirDev Bootcamp. So AirDev is one of the oldest Bubble agency out there. They have built over 500 apps for clients. And as you can see, they have a video course which basically show you how to learn Bubble, how to get good at Bubble and be a professional Bubble developer. And I think they are free, so definitely check them out. They are really professional, really great agency. And also another resource is basically a course by JJ. He's really good at Bubble and he's a professional Bubble developer. So these are a lot of experts you can learn from, but at this stage, I think it's basically you just getting more knowledge about Bubble and really take your skill set to the next level. So now you have learned from the experts, you have decent knowledge about Bubble. Now it's time to skip all the tutorials and actually build your own app by yourself. So at this stage, I will suggest you to focus on building a simple app with one core features. And don't worry about if the app looks really bad or it's buggy, that's all part of the learning process. But the real important factor is actually you get some real users on your app and provide you with some feedbacks. I think this part is really important because it can teach you how you can plan your app, execute the app, ship the app to real users and get users feedback and keep iterating on your app. And this is how the best softwares are built. So this process will actually teach you how you can be an actual developer and build a successful software in the long term. So after the previous four steps, you are now a really good Bubble developer. You can build up by yourself now and you have decent Bubble knowledge. But really, if you want to get to the top 1% of all Bubble developers, there are a few resources I would suggest you to check out to be able to really get there. It's no matter you want to get more clients for your agency or really build a really scalable app and can support millions of users on Bubble. So first of all, is definitely seek out expert help. So there are a lot of Slack communities where a lot of top um, Bubble Hangout Definitely check out the Slacks and they basically hang out there and answer a lot of questions. Definitely join those Bubble community. They will help you a lot. And also another resource is books. So there are quite a lot of books, uh, good books that are written for Bubble. So one book I would recommend you to check out is definitely this one. So this book will teach you how to build Bubble app with performance in mind. So how to set up the database with performance in mind, how to set up all the styling to make sure your apps are actually scalable, actually fast, and actually can support a lot of users at the same time. 
So I read this book, which is definitely worth the price and definitely do check them out. Another resource a lot of people neglect is Bubble Manual. So a lot of us learn Bubble by watching YouTube, watching tutorials. However, rarely someone learn Bubble by reading the whole manual because in the manual, there's a lot of highly technical stuff that actually covers how Bubble runs, a lot of really complex stuff. But if you understand those stuff, you can actually become the top tier Bubble developer. So definitely read the Bubble Manual if you have time and really want to become the best of the best. So overall, in summary, this is a roadmap for how to learn Bubble and really become the top 1%. First of all, know your why, know why you're learning with Bubble. Second, just learn the basics by building some really simple features. Then learn from the experts, really deepen your knowledge about Bubble. Then start building apps by yourself and actually just playing around building toy apps. And lastly, really becoming that 1% by learning a lot of really complex stuff. And by doing all this, I can guarantee you become a really good bubble developer and beat the 99% of all the other bubble developer out there. Because from my experience working in the agency by taking over a lot of projects from previous developers, most developers are really bad and they don't understand the fundamentals of bubble, which is set up the database wrong, which is set up the design wrong, which is set up the workflow wrong. So definitely if you follow the steps, you can be better than 99% of all bubble developers. And yeah, just remember to stay consistent. Obviously, it's not like a get rich quick scheme. Definitely spend at least six months learning bubble before you give up. And yeah, really just stay consistent, learn every day. I assure you the bubble will become your another income stream. So yeah, that's about it for today's video. If you like it, please subscribe and like, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks.